Dice that you to your August Asher Dice reading. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe, guys. Hit that big old like button. Let's get those analytics up so we can show the world what we're doing over here. Okay. Let's see what we got going on over here for August. beautiful full moon coming in into Aquarius in the very beginning of the month so that's going to be a huge time for you to feel bold and courageous as well so this will definitely allow you to feel like you're in your comfort zone so that's always a good thing so let's see what's going on with you beautiful Aquarius energy coming out is into the first house look at that we just talk about that um with some Taurus energy in Neptune so Neptune, your fantasies, yearnings, longings, and potentials for illusion. Time to get daydreaming over here. With that Taurus energy, it's going to be slow, but productive. I like that. And relaxed. Just relax, right? The energy around you shows the abundance of nature. It's rich, earthly, productive, and relaxed and slow. Slow, slow. Going straight into the first house of how people see you and how you see yourself. What, right? What are you showing the world? Right? And it's also kind of like you can even look back at yourself because it is the first house. So it's everything about you. What are you putting out to the world for the world to see? How are you shining at this time? This month is going to be in the first house, you know going to be a very slow productive so but let's see it could be even a very sensitive time with the neptune coming up that is piscean energy so it could be you know um getting your emotions feeling sensitive more intuitive at this time so going straight to the beginning of the month the middle of the month and the end of the month for the beautiful aquarius Aquarius, yeah, some back and forth energy to start the month off with. And that's probably because of that full moon, right? It's in your own energy, but it is definitely, even though it's going to make you feel a little wishy-washy, you know, it's going to be a little bit mm, back and forth. And maybe, and it's talking about, you know, that Neptune. Because like I said, there is going to be some sensitive moments. You might feel a little oversensitive, but it's also going to embrace your unique individuality of how you're looking at things and how you're perceiving yourself. Who are you? People are going to see you this way. This will be a good time for planning actions, getting your actions ready to go. Just be careful of deception, and that could be another reason why you're back and forth with this person. Maybe you don't trust this person. Maybe you feel that this person is deceptive, and you're trying to figure this person out. Maybe they're on your mind a lot. Do I plan to go on a date with this person? Do I plan, you know to do something, but you're getting, you know, kind of looking, I, I always see it as kind of looking in the mirror at yourself going, I'm not sure if I really trust, I feel like you don't trust this person. There's something going on, you just don't feel it. But then you go back and forth. Uh, do I, do I do this? Do I do that? What am I doing? Do I give him this time? I'm not sure. You know, it could be a past person coming through. We are getting ready for Mercury retrograde, which I will be getting those videos up pretty soon as well. Um, but definitely, you know, feeling nostalgic about the situation could also be giving you those nostalgic feelings of why you're going back and forth. Maybe, it's, like I said, it's somebody from your past and you're not sure if really they changed or not. So you're not sure exactly. It's almost like I'm looking at myself going, I've changed a lot. I know who I am. I'm not sure what's going on over here. How am I perceiving them and how are they perceiving you? Right? With the planning and the action over here, it's, you know, there's a little insecurities about the situation. Not suring, you know, not self-assured how I'm going to deal with this person. And how does this person see you? You see them as... They may be hiding something. I feel that they could be deceiving me. Are they seeing Aquarius? 
in the first house. They see you as confused. They see you daydreaming. They see you nostalgic. They see you reminiscing in the past, um, bringing up childhood memories. Um, if you've known them that long, just reminiscing in the the stuff that you knew. This is a this is literally somebody from your your past. Um, but they do do definitely feel like you are overwhelmed by their coming back. They do see that you have your own personal values. That you are who you you say you are, but why are they deceiving you? Why why is the deception here? Yeah, betrayal and deception. Maybe they have done something in the past and you just cannot trust this person. You're afraid that they're coming back very strategical and trying to trick you again, trying to upset you again, trying to get away with something. You know, I mean, this could just be as big as I stole your heart. But there's something there that you're just not trusting and you're definitely feeling the betrayal. You're definitely feeling like you're just not sure if they're the same person. But they see you as this well put, to, put together together person is, you know, uh, probably more so than you were in the past, maybe for some of you. But however it is, they definitely see you as, you know, very dreamy. They could even see you as their dream. You can also see it that way as well. You're my dream. I really want you. Yeah, mid-month you're playing it safe. There's just something about the situation. You're having great gratitude for the things that you already have within your life, right? And you're just not sure exactly, you know, what you're going to see. This person sees you as very courageous. They see you as the knight in shining armor. They, I, I think they see you as the dream. Um, you could be dreamy as well, right? Because it's coming up in the Neptune. So you are, you know, putting your manifestations out there. You're doing, you know, what you're supposed to do. Um, but I do see that there's something going on where they really want to have this time with you. They want you to, I think they want you to forgive them. playing it safe over here because yeah there's something that went on that this person has shattered your dreams and they're coming back you had this struggling relationship in the past and you're just so disconnected it's like that's fine we can meet and we can talk about you know reminiscing from the past and all that stuff but to actually give you another chance I don't see that happening um right there's this you know and it maybe you're not even sharing it with them maybe them coming back just gave you those memories. Do you see what I'm saying? You don't even have to share them um, with them. So take that how it resonates. But you're definitely not going to allow this situation to mis misalign you with your values, who you are. You know who you are in the first house. You're not going to allow them to walk in and do anything um, that you feel is deceptive. So you're definitely pulling yourself away from this situation as much as possible by playing it safe. Just kind of like in your own dreams, like I said, manifesting your own things with a great gratitude over here. Yeah, you have, you feel like you, you are the queen of pentacles. You're already nurturing yourself. You, everything about your life is very practical and having this person come back into your life does not seem practical. So really with the first house, it's all about how you're seeing your life and how they're seeing you, right? And not wanting anybody else to disturb what you have. Right? You know what your goals are. You know what you're doing in the present. Right? And you're very courageous about what you're doing in this situation. Right? You're not going to, you know, allow anyone to make you small for their comfort. Um, and maybe that's what you felt before because they have betrayed you. They made you feel less than. So you're keeping that courage about yourself. You're standing your ground over here. You're saying, I don't know if I, if I really want to walk through that forest. I'm courageous enough to do it. I, I really, I think this is it right there. Thank you. You're courageous to walk through that, that, you know, I'll do it if I, if I really want to. But right now, I just don't feel like I want to trust you. So I'm more like just standing my ground. But 
don't take my kindness for weakness, right? Because I am armored. And I am holding a sword. Yeah? You're in your own mode. You're in your own energy. Right? There's going to be some kind of sudden change and upheaval, some kind of revelation that's going on that's going to make you want to even keep more courage, keep that armor on, keep that sword close to you. Something that's going to cause some kind of delay or standstill. Something, yeah, see, that does not make you want to walk into that because you're just like, nope. Something that's coming to light. Something that's going to make you just kind of, oop, nope, I don't want to do that. You could be hearing something about this person coming back, or something they say, or their demeanor, or just whatever it is, or maybe your own thoughts as you're in Neptune going, you know what, hmm. listen to my own intuition, because you know your intuition is super high, and you're just like, oh no, it's going to be a while. Yeah, and I say it, and there it is, intuition. <coughs> Excuse me. Your intuition, yeah, and like I said, you could be manifesting other things within your life as you're daydreaming. Daydreams are manifestations. You know, I'm, I'm taking it. Oh, I love this because i just seen this right here. I divide each day into segments of my own intentions. Absolutely, and that feels like that's exactly what you're doing. I'm not worried about what you're doing. I'm kind of segmenting my own days, playing it safe, kind of doing my own thing over here. Oh my gosh, I love that. And this is the point from which you are consciously perceiving the point is a segment. Your day may be divided into segments. It is not necessary to have the rigid schedule of segments, but it is important that you clearly identify when you are moving from one segment of intentions to another segment of intention. And I think that's exactly what it is. It's like, you have me wishy-washy, I don't want to do these, so I'm going to sit over here, play it safe, and I've got my own segments. I've got my own days planned out. I've got my own dreams, my own things. I'm very grateful. I know where I'm going. That's what that is. That's why I'm not going to, I'm not going to move for you. So you're going to see me not moving. You can see me as your dream all you want. You can see me as well put together. You can see me however you want. Um, in the way that I'm, in, you know, but I also see myself the same. So that's great that they see you that way because you see yourself the same way too. I know where I'm going because you're having new beginnings. Wow. You know, guys, this is, yeah, so they're going to feel at a loss. I, you're not going to let this person, it's almost like I let you go. Um, whoever this is, you don't want them in your energy. They're going to feel a, a loss with you. You're just going to not bring that boat back in. They're going to, you know, try to square off with you. They're going to try to do whatever it is in the mid-month. But I think that all that's going to end up doing, guys, is pushing, making your intuition even stronger and pushing them away more. So whatever they're doing and how they're revealing themselves literally gives you this intuition, boom, of I'm not feeling this. I don't want to do this. So you're cutting that cord, and it's kind of funny with this loss because it's almost like, well, you're kind of out at sea it there, and I was kind of holding on to this, but then I decided not to go after you. I, I just don't want this. Set out there and be in the sea, right, because I don't want that. But they're, I feel like they're trying to prompt you to change your mind. They're trying to prompt you to take them back. But your perspectives of what you're seeing is, if I let you back into my world, I've got everything so good where I feel comfortable and I have so much great gratitude where I've come from or what I've achieved and who I am. I don't need this, right? Because, look, it's already in the very beginning of the month. When they come back, they may have even been back at the end of the month of July, however it is. But it's already in the very beginning of the month. It's already changed a lot of things that are going on. Right, it's already caused this kind of um, upsetness within your energy, right? Well, obviously, if you're going back and forth, back and forth, feeling a little wishy-washy about, you know, how you're feeling about the situation, that's already an upset. That's already an upheaval. That's already its own tower in its own ways. Because it's causing e emotional and um, energetic chaos, huh. Right? So with your intuition and manifestation, you have the star over here. You're going for what you're dreaming of. There you go. I'm dreaming of this. I'm waiting for my star to come in. I'm manifesting what I want. 
I'm finding my own, you know, my own purpose. I have my own face. I have my own thing going on. And I just, yeah, the New Beginnings is bringing in this beautiful victory. You're going to have a lot of public re recognition if you're doing, you know, online stuff in your job. Maybe you're a real estate agent. You have billboards everywhere and people are getting, you know, you're getting recognized by whatever it is you're doing. You can just be recognized at work, right? So you already feel like you already have this progress and your progress is just continuing to go up and up and up with the new beginnings and cycles. You're already on the right road to where you need to be. And this is, you know, where spirit's like, well, they can try to emerge and try to do what they need to do, but you just feel like it's more justified and more fair. Um, you know, seeing really the truth to the matter is this person is not equal to you. And I don't mean so much in status quo or anything like that. I mean, energetically, they do not, the fairness, the way they think, you guys are just not on the same page. Maybe you just even in life. The truth and the clarity is, is that this person is just nowhere near what you're looking for. Absolutely not. You're looking for the sun. Bam. You got the sun anyways. <clears throat> yeah. You're looking for someone who is more on your level of growth, fun, enjoyment, not having to sit over here and worry of whether or not they're lying to you or deceiving you or this or that, right? Shifting your values. You want somebody with the same values, the same, like I said, the same mindset, the same heart set. Looking for something better. It doesn't even matter if this is just a friendship, my friends. It doesn't matter, you know, if it's a coworker who wants to come back and they came back and they left the work and came back to work and they expect you, you know, but they did something that was not so good. Maybe they were talking behind your back when they were at work and then they came back. Who knows, right? It could be anybody. Um, but you know where you are and you've been strengthening your boundaries through this whole situation, right? And I think that, you know, if you're, you know, when you're playing it safe over here, it's like you're trying to not brew so much on resentment. I don't think that this is about brewing on resentment. This is not brewing about, oh, well, they did this and they did that. Now you're going to go back in your mind and start thinking about, you know, little things. But this is more about, not about being mad about the situation. This is more about, I cannot allow this. I've come, I'm way beyond this. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm way beyond this. Okay. Too many twists and turns have been, you know, are kind of in your mind and all over the place and in your energy ever since this person has returned. And, you know, it's been nothing but this, this kind of, you know, crazy back and forth feelings when it comes to this. And they do. They see you as sunny and shiny. They see you warm. They see you as this happy person. And that's why they want you back. Because you are shining. You are this person that they want in their life. But the thing is, is it's not complimentary. It's not complimenting to your energy. They're not the same. So how is, how is their energy? Well, number one, I don't know if you're deceiving me and I don't think I can trust you. How is this person? Just for... A few of you. Lack of motivation, lack of energy. Definitely not a very outgoing person. They may be a little boring. For some of you, I will say, right? And they like to cause a lot of conflict, disagreements. They like to hold the swords. They like to feel like they're kind of in control. They may even feel like they like to take your swords away. They're trying to tell you that they have new ways of communicating, but if the Five of Swords and the Ace of Wands upside down is there, then it's almost like, okay, that's fine. So what, you've grown a little bit, but it just feels like they're more thirsty in knowledge of what you're doing and how you've, you know, and they really want to try this one more time with you. But because of their self-limiting beliefs, they're never going to 100% really change, and they could even be their worst enemy in their own minds. So you might even know that.
and they feel like throughout life they carry all the burdens. They're the ones that carry all the weight. They're the one. You know, it sounds like a person who plays victim a lot. Um, clarify on if that, you know, you guys can always write that in the sections over there. But I just feel like for some of you, this is a person who burns themselves out and then plays victim. I carry all the weights. I do everything. And then they want to, you see what I'm saying? And I feel like for a lot of you, that's where this is all coming down to. I think they, they play victim a lot. That's a lot of heavy weight on you. <clears throat> okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.